for this tutorial you want to start off by making a slip knot. So you take the loose end of your yarn and wrap it over your finger and then bring it back towards yourself to make a cross on the front. Then take the long piece of yarn and wrap it over your finger again. Take the back piece of yarn and bring it over the front piece and over your finger and pull on that just slightly to create your loop. You then want to take your crochet hook and insert it into the loop and pull on the long piece of yarn. We're going to begin by chaining six. So you want to yarn over and pull through the loop which is on the hook that makes one. Yarn over and pull through the loop that's on the hook that makes two. Yarn over, pull three, that's three. Yarn over, pull through, that's four. Yarn over, pull through, that's five. And yarn over, pull through, that's six. So you have your first chain six here. We're then going to insert our hook into the first loop which we created. And you're going to grab the yarn and pull it through both loops which are on the hook. That makes your slip stitch. So now you have a circle which is what we're going to be working in throughout this round. You want to start off by chaining three. This is going to act as our first treble crochet. So in UK terms this is known as a treble, in US terms this is known as a double crochet. We're then going to do our first treble crochet which is wrapping the yarn over the hook inserting it into the centre of that circle, grabbing the yarn again and pulling it through and then you'll notice you have three loops on your hook. Grab the yarn and pull through just two of those loops on the hook and you'll be left with two loops on the hook and grab the yarn and pull through those last two loops. So we now look like we have two treble crochets. We're then going to chain two, one, and two and do another two treble crochets into this very center circle. So it's yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two and again yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two and yarn over, pull through two. We're then going to chain two again, one, two, and repeat exactly the same thing. Yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. One more time, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So you're going to repeat that step now until you end up with six of these treble clusters. So we've done three, you want to do three more. So pause the video and I shall meet you back once you've done that. I'm now at the stage where I've done my six clusters of two trebles. I've done my last chain two, and what we're going to do now is connect these two together to make it a circle. So if you remember at the beginning of this round, we had a chain three. And what we're going to do is insert our hook into the top of this chain three here. So your hook goes into the very top. Insert your hook. You're going to grab the yarn and pull it through both loops on the hook to make a slip stitch and this connects our first round. So if I just grab this one here, we have just done this section around here. We're now going to move on to this second round. So what we need to do now is chain three. So one, two, and three. This again is going to class as a treble crochet. So once you have chained three, we're then going to work into this space just here. And we're going to do two treble crochets. So remember, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook, 
and yarn over, pull through the last two loops on the hook. So that's our first treble. We're then going to do another treble. We're going to chain two, one, two, and then we're going to do another two trebles in that very same space. One, and two. Now without chaining any this time, we're going to go directly into the next space with two treble crochets. That's one, and two. We're going to chain two, one, two, and then do another two trebles into that same space. That's one, and two. And this is going to repeat itself all the way around. So without chaining any, we're then going to work into our next space with two trebles. This is our first one and our second one. Chain two and do another two trebles in that very same space. One. and two. So if you want to continue that same pattern, two trebles, a chain two, two trebles, into the next two spaces, I shall join you back in this last space because we're going to do something slightly different there. So pause the video and meet me back in a moment. I'm now left with my very last space just here and the reason why it's slightly different in this section is because we already have a chain three which we did to start off the round. So all you're going to do is do two trebles as normal. One. And two. We're going to chain two. One and two. Now because we have our chain three from the beginning, we only need to do one treble now. So one treble into that very same space. And what we're going to do is count up from the bottom our three stitches. So one, two, and three. Insert our hook into the top of that chain three. Grab the yarn and pull it through both loops on the hook. And that completes our second round. Our third round consists of these stitches here. So we're going to use trebles as we've been doing before and also doing a slip stitch. You can see in this larger section here, which is where we just chained two between the clusters of two trebles, we're going to be doing three treble crochets. And in the section where we didn't chain any, we're going to be doing a slip stitch. So if you go back to your work, where we actually ended up finishing on this round is a section where we do a slip stitch. So for the moment, we don't need to do anything in there. All we need to do is chain three. One, two, and three. We're then going to work into the next gap and we're going to do three treble crochets. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So that's one. We'll do another one. That's two. And a third one, three. We're then going to chain three, one, two, and three. And this is so that we can make enough chain to actually work into our next space along. So it's this one here. And what you want to do is insert your hook, grab the yarn, and you're just going to pull that yarn through both the loops on the hook. And that is a slip stitch. It just connects this section to this section. 
We'll then go into chain three, one, two, and three, and do three treble crochets into the next space. One, two, and three. We're going to chain three again. One, two, three. We're going to insert our hook into the next space, grab the yarn and pull it through both loops on the hook to make a slip stitch. Chain three, one, two, three, and then do three treble crochets into this next space. One, two, and three. You then want to chain three, one, two, and three. Insert your hook into the next space and pull through both loops on the hook to make a slip stitch. So you're going to repeat that pattern all the way round until you get to the end here. So repeat it three more times. You'll end on a chain three and I shall meet you back to show you how to connect the end to the beginning. So I'm now at the end. I've done my three trebles and my chain three and this chain three here is the one from the very beginning. So what I'm going to do is insert my hook into that same space where I started my chain three grab the yarn and pull through both loops on the hook and that will just connect those together. Our next round is going to be adding the detail onto the snowflake so that we get these pointed sections just here. We're going to be working round the chains that we've just done and into the top of those three treble crochets. So first of all, what we're going to do is a double crochet. Now this is the UK term, this is single crochet in the US. So this time you want to insert your hook into that chain three space, grab the yarn and pull it through. You'll have two loops on your hook. You're going to grab the yarn and pull it through both loops on the hook. That is a double crochet. So we're going to be doing two more of these. Insert your hook, grab the yarn, pull it through, grab the yarn and pull it through both loops on the hook. And again, insert the hook, grab the yarn and pull it through, grab the yarn and pull through both loops on the hook. For the next section we're going to be working into the tops of these stitches. So if you look closely at the stitches, you can see right at the very top, you have a section here where if you put your hook in, you'd see two loops that go over the hook, a little like a V. That's where we're going to be working. So what we're going to do is now insert our hook into the top of that first treble. And you're going to grab your yarn and pull it through to do a slip stitch. You're then going to do a chain three, so one, two, three, and you're going to insert your hook into the top of the second treble, which is the middle treble, and do a slip stitch, so pull through both loops on the hook. You're then going to chain four, one, two, three, four, and then insert your hook into that very same space that you've just done your last slip stitch into. So it's the top of the middle treble. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook. You're going to chain three, one, two, three, and insert your hook into the top of the third treble and do a slip stitch. We're then going to work around this chain three with three doubles. So insert your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on the hook. Insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, 
pull through two loops and insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through the two loops. And we've now just created a little bit of detail to the edge of our snowflake. We're going to repeat that now. So now what we're going to do is work around the next chain three. So insert your hook straight into that section, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Insert your hook again, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. And insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. We'll be working into the top of these trebles. So insert your hook into the top of the first treble crochet, like so, and do a slip stitch. You're then going to chain three, one, two, three, and insert your hook into the top of the middle treble. Yarn over and pull through both loops on the hook. You're going to chain four, one, two, three, and four, and insert your hook into the base of that same space that you've just been working in, so the middle treble. Insert and pull through both loops on the hook. Chain three, one, two, three, and insert your hook into the top of the third treble and slip stitch. So pull through both loops on the hook. We're then ready to work around this chain again and you're going to do three double crochets. One, two, and three. And then you're going to move it straight over to the other side and do your three double crochets around this section. One, two, three. And you're going to slip stitch into the top of the first treble crochet. So pull through both loops on the hook. You're going to chain three, one, two, and three, and insert your hook into the second treble, which is the middle, and pull through both loops on the hook. Chain four, one, two, three, four. And insert your hook into the same space, so the middle treble, and make your slip stitch. Chain three, one, two, three, and insert your hook into the last treble, the top of the last treble, and pull through both loops on your hook. You're then ready to do your three double crochets around that chain. So from here you would go straight into your double crochets around the next chain and you would work your way around to the beginning section. So you're going to repeat that those steps three more times. Rewind the video if you need to, but I shall meet you back at the end to show you how to finish off your snowflake. I've now worked my way all the way around my snowflake and I'm right at the very beginning. What you want to do is insert your hook into the top of the double crochet that we did just here. So if you pull your work apart, you should be able to see a small gap just there. You want to insert your hook and you're going to grab your yarn and pull it through both the loops which are on your hook. And you are going to grab the yarn again and pull through to make a chain. Grab your scissors, snip off the yarn and pull out that thread. Pull nice and tight on there so that you're not in the end. And then what you can do is just pull the tops of your snowflake at the corners so it looks more snowflake-like. Then all that's left to do is grab your end and attach a darning needle. And we're just going to weave in this end to the work so that you can't see it. 
So simply just weave it in and out the stitches, pull it through and then just give that a little bit of a pull and snip off your end. You might need to do the same um, on this section here. So you want to thread it through and then snip off the excess. So there is your snowflake. I really hope this tutorial helped you out with making it. If you have any questions about it, please leave me a comment down below and I shall get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and I shall see you again next time. Bye.